for um, a number of years in different parts of Asia Pacific region. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we're delighted to be running this particular event here in Goa, mm -hmm. and um, there's no better setting for it. I mean, in September, I think there's going to be one of the big creative design um, festivals and uh, conferences that are here, mm -hmm. so it's very befitting that we're here in Goa uh, with our partners. because it allows us to um, engage with our partners. I mean, our partners are really critical in terms of our strategic direction. Mm -hmm. They are a pivotal part of our success and it gives us an opportunity to hear feedback from them in terms of ensuring that we're aligned with their needs in the marketplace and also allows us to present the opportunity that we believe Adobe affords to many partners um, not just in India, but of course throughout the region and globally as well. I mean, firstly, our, you know, our strategy is all about transforming digital experiences. And when you consider the way in which Adobe has been growing and succeeding as a company, mm -hmm. there are many different components to that. Um, you know, we've moved from being a market creator to a market leader. And market leadership is not just about technology leadership and of course we have that with products like our creative suite family of products and course Acrobat and PDF and, and Photoshop but it's also about having points of presence and distribution and distribution involves a whole network of partnerships so um, our continuing strategy is to work very closely with our partners but also to present new opportunities to them and Mamita one of the things that we've been doing, we haven't been standing still as a business over the last two or three years. I mean, um, as businesses have been challenged by the global economic crisis, mm -hmm. you know, Adobe has continued to make very bold moves in the market. And a good example of that is the recent moves we've made you know, with Omniture, the absolute leader in terms of the online marketing suite um, and running a software as a service model, mm -hmm. but also a very recent acquisition of a wonderful and leading content management solution with Day Software. Mm -hmm. Now that in turn really presents our partnerships with great opportunities because if you think about it, you know, everything is about digital interaction and we're on the cusp of this big convergence between mobility mm -hmm. and there's no better example of that than here in India, 880 million uh, people using mobile phones and you know 3 and 4G is expected to be about 400 plus million by 2015. Um, so mobility is obviously key. And then following that you've got social networking, digital video, mm -hmm. and then of course um, the rise um, and the compelling value proposition offered by cloud computing. So there's hardly an element of that digital experience and those different channels that we don't touch in terms of Adobe from creation delivery through to optimization mm -hmm. and monetization. So that means that many of our partners have some very significant opportunities. And you know, you think about some of the incredible work that's going on here in India mm -hmm. um, with the way in which, you know, the key thing about the device play is it's about content and applications moving with those devices. And of course, um, eyeballs follow those devices, and guess what also follows eyeballs? Advertising revenue. So, in turn, um, that pulls through uh, our entire tool set around content authoring, building compelling applications, mm -hmm. and there are many, many examples of uh, superb applications here in India. One of those is a mobile application built and developed by a company called Ramco, mm -hmm. um, who are leaders in this field. Um, you know, they've got this groundbreaking ERP application, cloud-based, for small to medium businesses. Mm -hmm. They're Chennai-based and just a great example of the way in which entities um, and entrepreneurs are developing tangible, uh, you know, business applications for customers out there in the marketplace. For so many different reasons. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, uh, there's an, an incredible domestic market here and of course there's a very important offshore play in relation to outsourcing and, and the role that India plays is there.
But then, of course, you've got the education market, um, which is strategically important to us because, you know, if we can continue to work with people coming out of the education system um, and providing them with tools based around communication and collaboration, education itself has moved from beyond the three R's um, to the three C's. And we talk a lot about, you know, this concept around um, communication, collaboration, and the convergence around um, some of the increasing trends. So creative expression is very important. And what better place than here in India? But the other key aspect about India is that the, aside from having this wonderful gene pool of technology talent, which I think is second to none, you know, people coming out of the university system um, are very technology literate. Um, but there's also, you know, the increase in gaming, animation, the movie industry here. Um, so there's so much happening in India. Um, aside from India being on the global stage. So it's, it's an incredibly exciting market for us. Many innovations, I mean, um, some of our uh, leading technology developments which are incorporated into our Creative Suite family of products, they're incorporated into what we call our Adobe Digital Experience Platform. Um, you know, which is a leading platform for building rich, intuitive, immersive content and applications, um, are all being done out of our centres in Noida and also um, in Bangalore. And you know, uh, Dr. Naresh Gupta, who established our presence here in 1998, um, has just been doing an outstanding job with his team and the outstanding leadership that he provides. Well, there's some great examples, um, you know, if you just take one example in the publishing. I mean, there's one example where they've worked in collaboration with using some of our tools and technology to deliver an outstanding application on the iPad and different tablet devices. I mean, there's just one example, and I'm, there are many, many more of that. Um, there's another company that we're working quite closely with from a technology perspective which is a company called Redbus and um, you know they're based in Bangalore and you know they are a bus ticketing company and they built a entirely incredible agile mobile application um, for devices which allows you to actually book over four and a half thousand routes um, throughout India and you can compare prices and you know for the emerging um, middle and socio-economic class, it's important to be able to book seats and they're able to do that um, using the power of our technology. So, I mean, there, there are so many examples which are incredibly exciting. Mm -hmm. um, you know, even in the movie space, um, you've got uh, great producers and directors um, like Ram Gopal Verma, uh, and, you know, they've actually produced movies using classic uh, digital uh, SLR technology and are able to actually produce that movie in something like 33 days mm -hmm. and, and then use as a result you know Adobe's um, video editing products um, to enable that. So there's many many examples of technology innovation occurring in India. Okay. We do a lot of things. We do um, Adobe Clean Site programs where you know, um, we, we work with organisations about the importance of um, intellectual property. Um, you know, we, we are a, um, a very community oriented uh, software leader and there are many examples where we provide free downloads of our software. Adobe Reader is perhaps the best example of that, where people derive significant value. Mm -hmm. But where our intellectual property is being used and it's the it's the more raw material um, for, you know, in the print and media industry and the media entertainment industry mm -hmm. of creating great productions and deriving revenue, mm -hmm. then, you know, we obviously expect our customers to um, ensure that we're appropriately compensated for that so that we can continue the technology innovation mm -hmm. which customers and partners uh, respect Adobe for. So we work in, both in terms of education around the importance of intellectual property, 
and um, certification is also a key aspect of this where the more and more we can talk to the individual out there um, about the importance of certification, be certified on Adobe's products and at the same time take advantage of a legal copy of our software. Um, that's important. It's hard to give you precise numbers, um, but you know, clearly if you think about the, the, the significant uh, trend, I mean one of the big uh, drivers there, technology drivers, is obviously this play around smart devices and smart uh, phone technology. Um, and you know, even within uh, you know, e-tail and online, um, having a web presence is incredibly important. And you know all of the e-tail business that's conducted globally now around the world, um, you know, an increasing importance is going to be obviously the internet and being able to provide a rich and deeply engaging experience for customers. So when you're online, your reputation is literally on the line as well, and that's a key aspect of it as well. So um, you know, when you look at the creative suite technology uh, that helps customers, um, designers, architects, mm -hmm. um, whether you're in fashion design, mm -hmm. whether you're in uh, engineering design, uh, build content and compelling applications, being able to produce that mm -hmm. online, then you know, the contribution is very, very